Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Wolfgang Feist. I am the scientific director of the Passive House Institute. So now, what is that all about, Passive Houses? Well, you all know that you keep your dwelling warm during winter by heating and keep it cool during summer by air conditioning. Now, all these systems, they use a lot of energy. It's in fact 40% of all the energy worldwide, which is used keeping our dwellings or our offices and schools comfortable for heating and for air conditioning. So mostly the energy used for that is fossil fuel. And there the passive house comes in. We have to reduce that fossil fuels and that can be done by using the energy much more efficient than we have done in the past. So the slide here shows you some examples of passive buildings. Passive houses, which can be single-family homes, but also multi-family high-rise buildings, office buildings, factories, schools, even swimming pools have been built to passive houses. And this can be done in all climatic zones of this globe. So there are examples already everywhere. You can build passive houses in a cold, moderate climate, even in an Arctic climate, and you can build it in tropical climates. But of course, they have always to be adapted to the specific climatic zone, so you have to use the proper components for these uh, solutions you, know, you need at the different places. The surprising thing about passive house is that it reduces the amount of energy which you use for heating the building significantly. Not only by a little bit, but by a factor of 10. So this is what a normal existing old building in Germany would use for heating a building. A lot of fossil fuel, a lot of uh, CO2 which is released to the atmosphere. Now by building it as a passive house, this will be reduced by 90%. So the overall consumption of energy for heating is reduced to very low level, such a low level that you can do that without any problem by renewable energy. So the passive house is the most affordable step in the direction of a development of a completely renewable energy supply system. Now, the amount of energy needed, for example, for heating is so low that you could heat your whole living room just by 10 candles. Of course, you won't do it that way. You will use a very small heat pump system. The same system which will be used during summer for cooling, it can be used in the inverted way during winter for heating, but with a very, very low consumption, a consumption which is in the equivalent of these 10 candles. And the same is, of course, true for the cooling. The cooling can also be simplified very much so it will be very easy to do an installation in a passive house which gives you the best possible comfort all year long, all time, without any problem with a very simplified system. Now, in order to do that, you have to use the appropriate components in the building envelope. Now, there is no secrets about passive houses. All knowledge about the passive house has been published. For example, also the components you need in the different climatic zones. This, for example, are the components shown for glazings. So if you are in a very cold zone in the Arctic, for example, only a few people living there, then you would need a vacuum glazing, which is already available on the market nowadays. And it pays back in that cold zone. And it has even been used for these purposes already in existing examples. But most people live in the moderate climatic zone. So uh, if you are in a cold, moderate climatic zone, which is most of China, uh, 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 the most part of Central and uh, Eastern and Northern Europe, um, the appropriate glazing is a triple glazing with two low emissivity coatings. Now these glazings are available uh, on the markets everywhere. So and they are not expensive. So it's possible to use them on any instant you want to use them in new construction and in refurbishment of old ones. And there are regional producers of the appropriate components. For example, in China, uh, the producer Salyas, who has already built the very first Chinese passive house windows, he is now also producing structural glazing elements. 
and he got a very, very good certificate from the Passive House Institute. We do a certification for these systems, uh, but we don't only check uh, the, the uh, heat flow and the temperatures in the system, but we also give advice to the producer how he can improve his component so that it very well fits at what you really need in order to get a good performing passive house in the specific climate uh, which are uh, in the task uh, for, for, for this application. So certification of products is one of the ways uh, to improve the energy efficiency which is the least expensive way uh, to get better energy balances all around the globe. On the globe we have a lot of already built passive houses not only uh, in Europe, but also in both the Americas, in Asia, a growing uh, number of passive houses uh, built in China, uh, also in Australia. Uh, there's even a passive house in Antarctica nowadays. All these buildings are performing very well. We get, uh, this shows the monitoring of the systems, really good performing buildings with best possible comfort inside of the buildings and with very low energy consumptions, which is in the range of what has been calculated before. So there is no performance gap within the passive houses. Now you can have the knowledge of passive house construction, for example, by searching the internet, a good source will be passipedia.org, uh, but you also can go uh, to one of the conferences. And the next international conference on passive houses that will be the anniversary, the 20th anniversary of passive house conferences that will take place in Darmstadt in Germany. Uh, that is the very place where the first passive house has been built, the passive house in Darmstadt, Kranistein, which is now occupied for 25 years. Now, in the 25th year, we will look at every detail, uh, we will check the detail whether it's still performing the way it has been, whether there hasn't been any retrofit so far, so uh, the consumption was very low all the time and the comfort was on a very high level, so what we hope that we will see that all these components, after 25 years, are still working in the way we want them to work. So, the guests at the next upcoming, the 20th Passive House Conference, will be able to check all these effects. And I thank you so far for the attention. <music>